Hey guys and welcome to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video and today I want to be comparing the graphics between New Leaf and New Horizons. Now there's a few things I want to get out of the way first of all. Some of these New Leaf screenshots are going to look a lot worse than New Horizons just based on the fact that it's really hard to scale them up. You get a lot more pixels because the 3DS was in a lower resolution and of course New Horizons has so many lighting changes. So this doesn't mean that New Leaf is a bad looking game, actually I think New Leaf looks great for the 3DS. We're just trying to show how the game has evolved since New Leaf and how hopefully it will continue to evolve. So if you're excited for this one, be sure to leave a like, I would appreciate that. And let's get right into it. First of all, we have the player house. This is the basic red player house. You can see how it's changed here and it's changed quite a lot. Now the most noticeable thing for me is that there's no fence on the new house. And it seems like a lot of houses team seem to keep this sort of theme. There's no real fence. There is the two bushes at the side, which might be a sort of fence. But you don't see the traditional sort of fence that you see in the new, new leaf uh, screenshot. The house is looking much better here. And I'm excited to settle in in my new home. Here we've got the player tent, which obviously we're going to be beginning. It's not too different. It's a bit more... It's thicker in this new game basically. I think that's the best way I can describe it. And again, no fence, but it's pretty much the same thing. The animal house. Now these, it's impossible, well it's almost impossible to compare these because they're so different in this game. They're not as square in this game. They definitely take up more spaces I believe. I might be wrong there. I may be wrong, but they look so much better in New Horizons. They all looked pretty much the same in New Leaf. I mean there were different designs, but they're all kind of very square. But they look a lot nicer in this game, and of course, as we've mentioned many times before, you can put stuff on the doors now, so that alone is a cool little detail. And here's the inside of an animal house. Now, this might be my favourite one because this is pretty much a direct comparison. You can see Angus's house, and look how high-res the items look in New Horizons. They look fantastic. They've definitely remodelled all of them, and that's so great to see, honestly. I don't think many game developers would put in this much effort as the New Leaf um, and New Horizons team have done. Um, I mean, even with stuff like Pokemon, sometimes they struggle to bring over the certain models, but Animal Crossing has just gone ahead and remodeled everything, which is brilliant, and doesn't it look great? And notice Angus is no longer wearing his flame shirt, but of course this isn't a small details video, this is a graphical comparison video, so let's focus on the graphics. Here we've got Tom Nook. Again, this one was really hard to do because it's like hard to scale him up like that. But yes, of course his design has changed, but in general he looks a lot shinier, he looks a lot pudgier, he looks lighter, but that might just be the lighting of the game. And in general, I just think he looks a lot better. Here we've got the town notice board, which is also looking so much better. It looks... It, doesn't it just look so nice in the new game? Again, the lighting is making it look a bit lighter than it actually is, but it's mostly the same sort of thing, to be honest with you. It's just looking a lot nicer in this game, a lot more high res, a lot more 3D. The palm trees have also received a bit of a glow up. As you can see, they're definitely taller. Not much has really changed, they've got the same amount of leaves on them, but yeah, they're definitely a bit taller. And the trees in this game seem to be quite a bit taller in general, which you will notice here as we go to cedar trees. Look how many more rows they have. I believe they have one or maybe two small rows at the top that they don't have in New Leaf. This is such an interesting comparison for me. I don't know, I kind of do like the look of the cedar trees in New Leaf, but they do look great in New Horizons too. Here we've got apple trees, and of course the apples are looking very different in this game, I think they look much better now. And in general the tree is mostly the same, it's a bit lighter in this game, it's a bit more... Uh, realistic? I said that in a previous video and a lot of people didn't really agree with me, but I do think this new tree looks a bit more realistic than the previous one. Not really the goal they're going for, but it's still nice to see this little detail. It does look very nice. And here's probably the biggest one, and quite an important part since we're on an island. Here is the ocean. Now the ocean has changed so much. The tide is quite similar. If you look really close to where the grey rocks are in the New Horizon screenshot, it's got the same sort of ripple effect, but the water has changed so much. In this screenshot, you actually get to see the water when it's windy. So of course you're going to see lots of different types of ocean climate, but yeah, the ocean, it looks so good in New Horizons. And I do think it looks good in New Leaf too, but since it's such an important part of New Horizons, it's great to see the ocean has received a bit of a glow up as well. Now if you guys have any more suggestions for things you want to see me compare, 
please do. This was sort of like a test run. I wanted to see uh, what you guys think. And if you want me to do any more graphical comparison videos, please let me know. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.